Mawson, officially the city of Mawson, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Mawson, Waray, Sayadad Han Mawson, Filipino, Lungsad ng Mawson, or simply referred to as Mawson City, is a fourth-class city in the province of southern Leyte, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 85,560 people, it has 70 barangays and located on the western part of the province with land area of 21,171 hectares 52,310 acres. Mawson City is the commercial and religious center of southern Leyte and the southwestern part of Leyte Island. On August 10, 2000, Mawson was converted into a city. The Diocese of Mawson was founded on August 14, 1968. History The island of Limasawa in southern Leyte carved a very significant place in Philippine history. In 1521, a Portuguese-born Spanish explorer and navigator, Ferdinand Magellan and his crew came ashore and celebrated the first Roman Catholic Mass on the island. Incidental to the historic event, Magellan made peace with two Filipino rulers, Raja Colombu and Raja Siani who subsequently were converted to Christianity. A marker notes the spot on Limasawa where their blood compact of friendship and alliance was sealed. Southern Leyte, for centuries, was actually an integral part of the island of Leyte. During the Spanish period, the region was sparsely populated. Continued Moro slave raiding discouraged the establishment and stabilization of other large towns. In the 19th century, immigration from the provinces of Cebu and Bohol increased the population of the region and opened the land towards farming. One of the oldest towns in southern Leyte is Mawson, nowadays called Mawson City. Little is known about its pre-Spanish existence. When the Spanish missionaries became active in their missions, they discovered that the Mawson community was already organized, with its people friendly and interested in embracing the Catholic faith. The community was formally established as a parish by the missionaries of the Society of Jesus in the 1700s and was called Nipa. This was authenticated by a piece of stone from a long-destroyed convent that bears the inscription Pa, de Tagnipa, año 1776. The renaming of the town of Mawson is related to the incident when some Spaniards, who needed drinking water, scanned the shorelines and found Cantering River. They asked the natives in Castilian Spanish while gesturing towards the river, Que pueblo es este? Without hesitation, the natives answered, Mawson, meaning salty, thinking that the Spaniards were asking them how the water tasted. From that time on, the place has been called Mawson. The town grew rapidly in the 1700s after the Jesuit priests built the first church of which ruin still exists today between the two districts of ABGAO and Mantahan. The Jesuit administration prevailed from 1700 through 1768. Subsequently, Augustinian fathers took over the parish from 1768 to 1843 during which the townspeople, with the guidance of the Spanish ecclesiastical authorities, built the town's second concrete church located approximately one kilometer away from the ruins of the first one. The church stands to this day, although it underwent several repairs and renovations on account of damage wrought by the forces of nature and man-made events. In 1843, Franciscan missionaries took over the parish and managed it until 1896 when they were forced to abandon it due to the revolution. A native clergy took over thereafter. During the Spanish regime, Mawson evolved and became an organized municipality. It became a busy seaport which maintained trading with nearby islands of Cebu, Bohol, and Mindanao. A historical proof of this account is a document that depicts a record of Gobernachilos, in this municipality in 1880 through 1894. By virtue of the Mora Code passed by the Spanish Cortes, the first chosen local executive was changed from Gobernadorcillo to Capitan Municipal. The last Gobernadorcillo was Alejo Alcantara who served from 1892 to 1894, followed by Capitanes Municipal Julio Ragas and Flaviano Aguilar The short-lived Philippine Revolution against Spain brought about a change in the local government. During the early part of 1898, General Lucban came to Mawson to install the municipal government under the short-lived Philippine Republic. 
Even before the fall of the Spaniards to the Americans on August 13, 1898, there had already been established in Mawson a court of first instance, the office of promoter fiscal, equivalent to the provincial fiscal, and the office of administrator de hacienda, equivalent to provincial treasurer. With the change of sovereign power, the positions were abolished but the fiscals which continued to serve cases from distant towns. However, due to the problems emanating from transportation availability for the Tacloban Mawson span, and the intricate management of governmental affairs in Tacloban, several prominent leaders of the west coast of Leyte began proposing bills that entail the division of the island of Leyte into two distinct provinces. In 1919, Representative Suriaco K. Kanglian presented the first bill but lost in the Senate by one vote. In 1922, Tomas Office renewed the move with presentation of House Bill No. 254 which became Act No. 3117. Unfortunately, the Act did not take effect because it was not proclaimed by the Governor-General. The arrival of the Americans at the beginning of the 20th century and the suppression of all resistance to the American rule stopped all dreams of Philippine independence. However, the epic-making announcement of President McKinley that the Philippines was not theirs to exploit but to train in the art of self-government and independence brought about new hope for the Filipinos. True to their word, the Americans instituted in this country their democratic institutions. Mawson was one of the beneficiaries of this enlightened American policy. Schools were established, businesses began to rise and prosper, and, Mawson became the most progressive town in southwestern Leyte, and still is. Mawson was enjoying the blessings of democracy up until the eruption of World War II. On June 3, 1942, the Japanese occupied Mawson and immediately instituted martial law. Many townspeople realized that their immediate task was to live and escape the abuses, atrocities, and murderous acts of the Japanese soldiers. They took refuge at the mountains and hills where they lived on the natural provisions of Mother Nature. Many brave ones, including Colonel Ruperto Canglian, Alfonso Cobal and others, fought the Japanese invaders making the record of the Mawson guerrillas one glorious chapter in Mawson history. Mawson resumed its path to prosperity when the Americans returned in late 1944. It became, once again, a bustling seacoast town trading with the nearby islands of Cebu, Bohol, and Mindanao. Through the initiatives of its leaders, Mawson progressively continued to move forward in its role as the center of commerce and industry in southern Leyte. In 1953, Francisco M. Pajau won the representation of the issue that entails the division of the island of Leyte but could not do anything else to complete the move. Hence, Senator Ruperto K. Canglian, younger brother of Suriaco K. Canglian, presented and passed the move under Senate Bill No. 2140. The House of Representatives carpeted the bill. Then in 1957, Congressman Nicanor Espina Iniguez Jr. filed the House bill that changed the move's original designation as Western Leyte of Occidental Leyte to Southern Leyte. At 10 a.m. on Friday, May 22, 1959, President Carlos P. Garcia signed the bill into law as Republic Act No. 2227. Witnesses to the signing, among others, were Congressman Iniguez, Mayor Alfredo K. Bantig of Mawson, Attorney Manuel Enage Sr., Erlinda Capilli, and Attorney Floro Canglian. On July 1, 1960, Southern Leyte was officially inaugurated as a province with municipalities including Mawson, being the capital town and seat of the provincial government, Malatbog, Bontoc, Sogod, Libagon, Pintuyan, San Francisco, St. Bernard, Cabalian, now San Juan, Anahuan, Hinandayan, Hinunangan, and Salago. Three more municipalities were subsequently created, namely, San Ricardo from Pintuyan, Tomas Apis from Malatbog, and Limasawa from Padre Burgos. Mawson continued to progressively prosper for decades. On April 8, 1998, Congressman Aniceto G. Saludo Jr. filed a move under House Bill No. 7201 to convert the municipality of Mawson into a component city of the province of Southern Leyte, thus becoming Mawson City. Barangays Mawson City is politically subdivided into 70 barangays. Demographics Language 
Masinhans and Southern Leiteños speak Cebuano and Waray. Their cultural and linguistic affinities tend to differentiate them from those who reside in Cebu, Bohol, and the western coast of the province of Leyte. Most of the people are farmers and fishermen who are noted for their hard work and frugality. Religion Although approximately 50% of the people are adherents of the Roman Catholic Church and the others call themselves the believer of true God, traditional folk beliefs and superstition still influence some of them. Some farmers are also known to hold on to pre- and conservative beliefs in making offerings and sacrifices before planting season starts. At times, chickens or pigs are ritually offered in hopes of enticing spirits for a fruitful harvest. Topography The terrain of southern Leyte is characterized by relatively flat lands along the coastal plains where population areas lay, and becomes rugged and mountainous towards the interior. It has numerous small rivers in addition to, at least, 11 major rivers which include Cantering River in Masan City, Amparo River in Macrohan, Divisaria River in Bontoc, Subang Daku in Sogod, Lavigan and Hitongao Rivers in St. Bernard, Camago River in Hinandayan, Magkasa River in San Juan, Das I and Pondal Rivers in Hinunangan, and Mog River in Salago. Climate even though March to May is considered hot and dry with temperatures ranging from 22 to 32 degrees Celsius, in general terms, the province actually has no dry season. This is due to rainfall more or less, distributed throughout the year. June to October is mostly rainy, whereas, November to February is cool with temperatures ranging from 22 to 28 degrees Celsius. Year-round, average humidity is about 76%. Roads The existing road networks criss-crossing southern Leyte consists of major arterial highways that link to the province of Leyte, passing through two major outlets, on the western part, the masan mahaplag Bebe route, and, on the central part, the Mahaplag-Sogod route via the Maharlika Highway. Airport The province has one existing airstrip located in Panan Awan, Masan City. This airstrip, which has a runway length of 1,200 meters and a width of 30 meters, is simply considered a feeder landing pad. There are regular scheduled flights between Cebu and Mawson and Tagbalaran to Mawson via Air One Ow. The runway is suspected to be incapable of supporting aircraft weighing over 12,000 pounds. Controversies of the construction of the airport was found by COA, that led Damien Mercado dismissed to his position. Seaport's Wiesam Express fast ferry from Mawson National Port to Cebu takes 3 hours, 9 a.m. daily. Kokoliang shipping, roll on ships make four trips weekly each way, with a sailing time between 5 and 7 hours. Kokoliang ships also carry cargo and vehicles. Cargo ships regularly make use of Mawson National Port mainly bringing in cement and taking out copra. Bus terminals There are five designated bus terminals in southern Leyte, Mawson, Lilon, Sogod, Hinunangan, and Silago. These terminals are just open spaces used by buses as parking, passenger waiting areas, and not equipped with buildings and other facilities. There are at least four bus companies taking the manila Mawson route, Filtranco, DLTB, Ultrabus, and Cole. Bachelor takes the ormoc mawson Devo route. From the Mawson City, by land, it takes approximately 5 hours to travel to Tacloban City, 23 hours to Pasay City or Quezon City, and, 19 hours to Davao City via Lilone Ferry Boat. Power, energy The principal source of power, electricity in southern Leyte is the Tanangan Geothermal Power Plant in Ormoc via National Power Corporation through the Southern Leyte Electric Cooperative, SOLECO. The major power transmission lines in the province emanate from 69 kV Toulouse, Leyte which is connected to 69 kV Bontoc, southern Leyte then to Mawson City, and 69 kV Bebe, Leyte to Mawson City in case of power failure. A mini hydroelectric power plant in Hinabian, Katman, St. Bernard was developed with a capacity of 810 kW to serve the Pacific towns particularly St. Bernard and San Juan. A major breakthrough in power generation is the Southern Leyte Geothermal Project in San Juan with a capacity of 50 to 100 megawatts commissioning in year 2003. It is anticipated to sustain an estimated economic life of 25 years. 
Activities involving pre-operation phase was already initiated. Communication Postal Communication System is the major means of communication in all municipalities of the province. There are five telephone exchange companies operating in the province to provide domestic and international calls namely PLDT, PT&T, RCPI, Biontel, Eftelco, and the Bureau of Telecommunications, Butel, 2AM radio stations, DYSL in Sogod, and DYDM in Mawson City. Other modes of communication include SSB radios for government offices, and cellular phones for government and private entities. TV5, GMA Network and ABS-CBN operate upcoming TV station in the city. Health facilities In 1996, the health and medical needs of the province were provided by eight government hospitals, six private hospitals and clinics, 20 rural health units or municipal centers, 93 health stations, and 10 outpatient private clinics. The total bed capacity of government hospitals is 265 while that of the private is 110. A current tally of health facilities in the province is still being determined. Mawson City also known to be the no-smoking capital city in eastern Visayas. Diocese of Mawson On August 14, 1968, the Diocese of Mawson was canonically erected through a papal decree issued March 23, 1968. In June of the same year, the Most Reverend Vicente T. Adiviado, D.D. who was up to then a parish priest of Masbate, Masbate, was appointed as its first bishop. He was consecrated on August 8, 1968, and installed as the first bishop of Mawson on August 14 at Our Lady of Assumption Parish Church in Mawson, the capital of Southern Leyte. From 1595 to 1910, the area which now comprises the Diocese of Mawson belonged to the Diocese of Cebu. From 1910 to 1937 it belonged to the Diocese of Calbayog. From 1937 to 1968 it came under the jurisdiction of the Diocesan of Palo in Leyte. Today it is a suffragan of the Archdiocese of Cebu. The diocese comprises the entire province of southern Leyte, and the towns of Matalam, Bado, Halongos, Hingdang, Anapakan and Bebe in the province of Leyte, with the Mawson Parish Cathedral as the seat of the diocese. Distributed within its 2,505 square kilometers of land are 38 parishes and one quasi-parish. To facilitate administration these parishes have been grouped under six vicariates. In recent years, awareness of their potent role in the local church has been perceived among the lay faithful, a result of diocesan programs designed to awaken the sleeping giant. In the church, there has been a marked increase in the number of lay ministers to assist priests in every parish, as there has been in the number of volunteer catechists. The Diocese of Mawson today has started to focus on the vision of the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines. Apart from the usual ministerial and sacramental functions, the clergy has succeeded to penetrate the people's conscience with concern for other issues, such as reforestation, among others. The Social Action Center has generously offered help in livelihood projects to those who do not have the necessary capital. This has been successful in the Abaca business enterprise. The center is now in the process of opening up more opportunities for more livelihood projects. The Commission on Youth is helping in the formation of the youth in all the parishes of the diocese through youth encounters and leadership training. It has organized three diocesan summer youth camps between 1993 and 1995, attended by more than a thousand delegates. In 1993 the Diocese of Mawson marked its 25th anniversary as a diocese. Places of interest Mawson Cathedral built in the 17th century is probably not only the biggest, but also the oldest church in Mawson City. It is a diocesan seat since 1968. The church is adorned or embellished with an ornate altar and images of saints, and became a testament to the religious devotion of the people of Southern Leyte. Don Anatalio Gaviola Plaza, which is dedicated to a then mayor of Mawson. It still is one of the highly recommended stumping points for tourists as well as for locals. The Gwinsahodan Cave is a large subterranean cave, 15 kilometers from the city center and 276 meters above sea level. Those who do enter the cave by wading or swimming can find small, in cave, waterfalls, bats and impressive rock formations. 
Cagnishuan Lagoon, the water coming out of Guinsahodan Cave flows down in cascades to form a natural lagoon frequently visited by bathers and patrons of cool therapeutic treatment. The two sites, Guinsahodan Cave and Cagnishuan Lagoon, which belong more or less together, are placed in Barangay Canatoan and can be reached from Barangay Maria Clara by using a Havel Havel. The last part of the way is a walking part, you pass by small groups of houses, fields and palms. In the background there are the mountains covered by large vegetation. Camp Danao Forest Park is located 335 meters, above sea level and 15 kilometers away from the city proper and the sprawling forested area has a man-made lake. It hosted the 2010 BSP, Boy Scout of the Philippines, national activity. Mawson Zoo and Adventure Park, soft opening in early 2012. One of the specialties of this zoo will be that the animals will not be kept in cages but be separated from the spectator by natural barricades. Bogo Bird Paradise, private owned, just about 4 kilometers from the city proper is a mountain retreat nestled among flora, fauna and especially rare species of bird. Busay Falls, where you can find lush vegetation just as well as wildlife cavorting with cascading mountain waterfalls and chirping birds. It can be found in Barangay Combado. Sadly, this former completely wild and dreamlike part of nature is victim of fast economic expansion, so water quality is not as good as years ago and the former wild lagoon was removed by a pool. Abira Museo Dar, another site in Mawson City, showing a rare collection of artifacts, antiques, paintings, preserved animals, coins, gems, and historical relics. Although it is privately owned by the Abira family, it can be visited by interested ones. It is located in Barangay Tunga Tunga in the heart of the city. The Lady of Assumption at the Jaleca Hills is the tallest privately owned shrine in the Philippines. The statue itself and the nearby chapel can be reached by using a stairway with more than 300 steps and is located at 104 meters above sea level in Barangay Mantahan. It is one of the most visited religious landmarks in Mawson City and in southern Leyte. This impressive landmark can be seen from far not only during daytime, but also at night as it is illuminated. San Francisco Javier Pilgrim Center, a miraculous chapel 400 meters above sea level which can be found in Barangay Hanjinan, 7 kilometers from the city proper. It can be reached by an hour-long trek to the top through a foliage of trees and wild shrubs. It is said that every petition is granted and every prayer spoken is answered. Monte Cueva Shrine, also known as the Shrine of Our Lady of the Assumption and the Most Precious Blood of Jesus, is a donation by the philanthropists Odong and Loring Chung to the Diocese of Mawson. It offers a refuge to pilgrims and devotees. A 30-foot Marian icon perches from a highland over the Via Crucis and Resurrection. A cathedral within the cave is the Coup de Grace to the Natural Wonder, situated 2 kilometers from Mawson City. Transportation Transit Bus Companies, Series Tours Ultrabus Silver Star Bus Filtranco Bus VELMAR Bus Line Eagle Star Bus Coal Transport DLTBYZ Transporter Shipping Companies, Cocoliang Wiesam Express Shopping Centers Gaisano Metro Mawson for expansion on 2018, Gaisano Gran Mall Mawson under construction, City Hardware first in sa. Leyte Novo Department Store J and F Department Store Prince Hypermart Mawson 578 Emporium Mawson Bradath One Stop Shop Boss J and C Lucky 99 Store Mawson Mawson Star J W Enterprises Hem Enterprises Fashion World Mawson Branch Grab and Go Mawson F and F Forever Banks Bank of the Philippine Islands BPI Family Savings Bank Metro Bank Land Bank of the Philippines East West Rural Bank Formerly Green Bank Asia United Bank East West Bank Rural Bank of Mawson Southern Leyte Inc. RBM Banco de Oro China Bank Philippine National Bank Network Consolidated Cooperative Bank NCCB First Consolidated Bank FCB Development Bank of the Philippines Rizal Commercial Banking Corporation Health care New Provincial Hospital, Dongan, Mawson City Living Hope Hospital Sacred Heart Hospital Mawson City Health Unit, three branches Mawson Maternity and Children's Hospital 
the College of Mawson Maternity Clinic, Malaya Medical Clinic, Abira Medical Clinic, Our Lady of Assumption Parish Dialysis Center, Mawson Dental Spa, Dental Clinic, DMD Toothworks, Dental Clinic and Diagnostics. References External links Official website of Mawson City Official administrative website of Mawson City Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System